Anna had the idea of creating food stories to help create an intercurriculum link with uh, drama and literacy within the school and I was very excited because that was bringing in the food element as well but helping students to realise their own creations just like you do with food you realise your recipe and create a final product by doing the same with a story. We have in our school houses and we decided to create a competition where the students could write their own food stories and we involved the drama department, the English department and of course the technology department and encourage the students to interview family and friends and find out traditional stories about food from their own cultures and backgrounds and find out what could happen and how they could create a message within their story. I enjoy having to write about something that doesn't always have to be true and the concept of it having to do with food and it having to be completely make-believe was really fun. I liked Anna's performance because she got the whole of Year 7 involved and it was really funny when we had to do the rhymes and she got students up being characters, which made everybody laugh. What impressed me most about what the children achieved today was the fact that they managed to work together uh, on a collaborative experience within their groups. Teamwork was a key, key factor within that. And to begin with, some of them were quite anxious and didn't want to get up and perform, but they all came together and they all kind of gave each other confidence and helped each other by the end of the session to produce and perform their final pieces, which were really, really well accepted by the rest of their peers. Over half the school is an Asian background, Pakistani and Indian, and a lot of the stories show. So we had one about a chili pepper and another one about an onion bhaji, so that you could see their culture coming out in their stories. We also have a lot from northern countries, so they were talking about pancakes and gingerbread men and bringing in their traditional fairy stories into their story writing. The thing that I've liked best with working with Anna is that like, you're working in groups with all your friends and it's just been a really fun time. I liked how she was getting like, people from the audience to make characters and like, putting them on the spot, which was making it funnier. And on these chicken legs there rested a house. And this house was constantly revolving so that the doorway was always in the shadows. The act of telling stories is an ancient art form and I think it's today's society is dying a little bit. So for them to be able to express themselves uh, with their peers and tell their own stories um, in a traditional sense, I think is a really valuable experience for them to, to be a part of. The dinner table is a great place to share stories. You share your story of your day, and what's happened to you and within families that is where a lot of uh, retelling of stories happens and in my classroom I try and set the stage. I always have props out and get, give the students stimuli so that they can really grasp the idea of the lesson. Looking ahead to the future I think one of the main things that I will be definitely trying to work into the classroom across all cross-curricular subjects is looking at getting the students to stand up and voice their own stories with, with confidence. The students have given me lots of feedback in the day. They've talked about how wonderful it's been to see their own friends get up and show talents that they didn't know they had. And it's been good to see them develop as their characters and in their roles and show strengths that aren't always obvious in normal curriculum subjects. Thank you.